So these are the steps that you need to take to create a drop down list of unique values in tag h2 comprised of a column. So in this case, the column is going to be city and it's also going to be dynamic so that when new rows are added to the data set, the data source, if there's a new city, then the new city will also automatically appear in the drop down. So what we need to do is for the data source, for the data set, click anywhere in the data set and click on data. And then you click on form table. Then the create table dialog box appears. If your table isn't in a table format, then for the tool, it creates the table for you before moving on to the next step. Click on OK. And what happens is Excel opens up the Excel Power Query Editor, which is a separate program, uh, which is a powerful tool, uh, which contains uh, several tools to transform your data. So what it's doing now, it's loading the data from the, the main Excel interface into Excel Power Query Editor. And so what we do for the target column, we highlight the target column where we want the values, the unique values to be derived from. And then we go and we go to the home tab and then we choose this option here, remove column. Click on the drop down and then choose this option here, remove other columns. So what that does is any column that's not highlighted, it removes it all in one go in one step. So we click on that, speed things up. So as you can see, all of the columns have been removed. The next thing we need to do is we need to remove all the duplicates. So we choose in the same tab, home tab, click on remove duplicates. And that removes all the duplicates. You now got unique values. And the final thing is we click on this drop down, just like with Excel, the main interface, and sort the values, the unique values in ascending order. You've got Bangkok, first, and Sydney, last, which is now in alphabetical order. And then for the last step in the Power Query Editor, click on Close and Load 2. And then for the Load 2 dialog box, click on Existing Worksheet and click on this button there. So what we want is we want the drop down, the unique value to be appearing in an empty area of the worksheet. So let's select N1, click on OK, and click on Load it. So now you can see you've got a unique list of values and that's a table as well so what we need to do is we need to while the unique values are selected in the table tools context menu go all the way to the left hand side and change the default name to something more meaningful so we call it table city okay so the unique values have been set and the table name has been set as well and the final thing we need to do is we need to click on the cell where we want the drop down to appear and then we go into data on the ribbon then data validation data validation again and then in the settings tab the drop down click on list and then type this formula here equals using the indirect function open brackets and in quotes put the name of the sit uh, sorry the name of the table and the name of the column within the table and we need to put a square brackets before so the name of the column in table city is city and then finish it off with a square bracket and then put a quotation mark at the end and click on OK so you go back to the cell H1 and see how the drop down appears so you can see the drop down appearing with all the unique values in it. Now this is dynamic because it's linked to a power query. Whenever there's a new value entered in the data source, then when you refresh the uh, the table source, then what happens is a new value will, for the unique value will be appearing. So if you go to the end of the data set, I've got a new row, a new record. Um, the new city for this new record is Madrid. So if I just move this, to the end of the table. Um, the table automatically then recognizes the new data set, uh, sorry, the new row containing Madrid. You can't see it here at the moment. So all we need to do is just right click on the, the drop down, uh, not the drop down, the, the table containing the unique values. And because it's linked to a power query, just click on refresh. And as you can see, the new city appears in the list of unique values, which is Madrid. Go back to your drop down. You can see Madrid also appearing in your drop down. So it's fully dynamic.